Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a sale on Shopify. This way you can attract even more customers, you can increase your sales and also you can offer a very nice opportunity to your customers to engage even more with your products. Now if you're new to the channel and you want to grow your online business, whether it is a Shopify store, an Etsy store, a YouTube channel, make sure to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and without any further ado guys, let's jump onto our computer and I'm going to show you how to create your very first Shopify sale. So guys, we just jumped on our computer. So if you want to only list one product on sale, all you need to do is go on that product, for example, the coffee scented soap bar. And as you can see right here, we have the price at $15 and I put in a compare price at $20. When I look on the store, you can see that the product, so the coffee scented soap bar, shows at $15 with a price reduced from $20. This is only if you want to have only one product on sale. Now, if you want to have all the products on sale, you need to go to discounts. And here you need to create a new discount. And here you have a few options. The first one is to give a percentage off the products then you have an amount of the order meaning you are going to offer a five or ten dollars coupon or sale then you can offer your buyers to receive one product if they buy three products or something like that and then you also have free shipping now i'm going to click on amount of products and here the most important thing when you want to go with a sale so instead of creating a discount code you are going to click on automatic discount here we are going to give it a title and this title should not be a coupon code name such as spring 25 christmas sale 5 it has to be a nice text let's say all products are 30 percent off this christmas here at the value you can either go with a fixed amount meaning you are going to give five dollars or something like that or percentage and here I'm going to go with 30% and here applies to you can either select specific products or specific collections. If you want to go with your entire store, you are going to leave specific collections, then click on browse and here you can select all the collections from your store. I'm going to click on add. Now all the collections have been added. We are going to go even further. Here you have minimum purchase requirements. I'm going to put in $1. You also have the minimum quantity of items, meaning let's say this sale will apply only if you purchase three products, five products, and so on. And I'm going to leave on minimum purchase amount of $1. You can even put in 20 cents or something like that. And here you have combinations. This is very important. For example, if you send product order or shipping discounts to your audience, to your subscribers, to your newsletter, you can opt in to also be combined with that discount. Let's say you are going to offer a $5 coupon or a 5% off on certain products or on orders. And if you do that, if we tick this box, this means that if you send your subscribers a 5% off coupon, it will be added to the 30%, meaning it will have a total of 35%. I'm not going to add to those. You can even set a starting date and an end date. Now, before we move forward with our video, guys, I just wanted to let you know that we have a full Shopify course on our YouTube channel that will teach you how to build your Shopify store from scratch to a fully functional store. Now, if you want to check it out, I will leave a link in the description below. And without any further ado, let's continue our video. I'm going to go with one month. So until the 20th of November, or I can even go up to uh, December. Once everything is done, you can click on save discount. You will have all the information here saved. And when you click on discounts, you can see that you have it already active. Now, when I go onto my store, if I refresh, you can see that the products have the same pricing, meaning that the sale will only be applied at checkout, meaning that this way you can target your 
uh, email list or the subscribers or followers to your social media and you can inform them that you have a sale. Also, you can use this space right here in order to make a store announcement, meaning everything is 30% off at checkout, meaning that someone can actually click on the products and when they go at checkout, as you can see right here, the prices are reduced by 30%. And you can see that the coupon here is announced, meaning all products are 30% off this Christmas. That is why it is very important for you to write a very nice text here so that people see this text instead of a coupon code name. Now, as you can see, the code applied to all products and instead of, I don't know, 40, 52.5 dollars, it is now 36.75 and people can proceed to check out now and make the payment. So you can announce the store sale here, they will see the discount at checkout, or you can also email that to your list, to your social media audience, and that way people that follow you can actually, or that have already purchased from you, can know about discount or sale and apply it, and that way you can increase your sales. So guys, that was the tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If so, make sure to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also, if you want to learn even more, if you want to increase your conversion rate, if you want to increase your sales, your brand awareness, to bring more customers, to increase your social media presence, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a ton of videos about how you can actually grow online. I'm going to see you guys on the next video.